Sweet Lights and Barley Brights. It's a Primark haul. Primark haul. <laughs> I've got a dog coming in. I have decided to lay everything out in categorical order. You cannot see it, but this is so that I can be more effective in my hauling because I'm very excited by the things that I've got because winter has officially arrived. So let's get into my winter warmers. This is a blanket. This is a blanket. And this one officially costs something like three pounds. It was ridiculous, but it's so snugly. And I just plan, this is really culturally insensitive. I just plan to have it over me while I watch TV. And I just, I'm really excited by this. And this fair isle print is absolutely luscious, luscious, luscious. And on the other subject of winter warmers, I have got myself a dressing gown. Now, I actually got this one in my local Primark, which is a lot smaller than the bigger Primark in Oxford Street, which I went to last week. Again, me, me, me talking about my Oxford Street, but I'm just addicted to going shopping there at the moment. Um, and this was one of the less boring ones. There was a plain black one and a leopard print one, and I just couldn't find one that I really liked, and I really needed a new, really snuggly dressing gown. So this was the best one of a bad bunch. But then the week after, when I went to Oxford Street, they had some really good ones, and they also had some really nice fluffy nightshades that's made with this material and I kind of regret not waiting but I kind of don't regret not waiting because I've been wearing this to snuggle up and what me talking about watching TV I'm absolutely obsessed with bones at the moment if there's any TV shows that you're absolutely obsessed with please leave them please leave them down in the comment section below and I will probably have a binge watch that is just me I just binge on t on television all of the time but never on, never when it's on anyway um this is my dressing gown isn't that lovely now let's move on on the subject of dressing gowns and sleeping i'm talking really fast because my dog's staring at me um this is my pajamas that i have got and i thought that these were particularly cute they say fair hug question mark i thought it's really nice material it's kind of just a really soft kind of jersey they had a matching maroon trouser that was striped that you could probably get with this but I chose to get the forest print trousers with the matching bear on they've got the little bears and the forest print is absolutely darling isn't it it's so nice and I just can't wait to wear these I just lounging at the weekend I'm just I'm such a homebody I just love to lounge <laughs> okay so they're my pajamas um, on the subject of clothing that I got I'm actually kind of depressed by this, but I got this really nice dress. It's kind of a shirt at the bottom, and it puffs out, and it's got a line of buttons all the way down. And I thought this is really Anne of the Green Gables, you know, little women, a nice summer dress to wear in the summer. It was three pounds um, as it was on sale, um, but I got it in a size 12, and I was being ridiculously optimistic. As you know, I have very not, I'm tooting my own horn here, I have very large breasts and this just did not fit over them so that's something to hope for for next summer <laughs> that I can lose a little bit of weight and fit into this absolutely gorgeous dress but you know I swear we all have items of clothing in our cupboards that we always think oh yes when I lose a little bit of weight this will fit me I'll keep this until then um, but it was on sale so I really don't mind too much if I'd spent a lot of money on it I'll probably be hauling it back going I just used in a bigger size um, I got this one as well, it's a nice Peter Pan collar, it's kind of lace so I'd need a vest underneath it um, but it's got a nice heart print on it as well and this one was £6. Um, I thought that this would be really good for work or tucking into a pencil skirt having a little bit baggy at the top. It's just really, not, I really love Peter Pan collars, I know that they're kind of going out of season. I, I prefer really exaggerated Peter Pan collars because they hold nice and stiffly um, but this is quite small um, but it's just generally really nice and I thought that it was quite bargainous. On the subject of Christmas that I just pulled out of my ass because we weren't talking about Christmas, it's inside out. What's that you, Yuki? What's that you? What's your waffle? Um, this is a Christmas t-shirt with a nice little gingerbread man print on it. So I'm loving prints at the moment. I'm loving patterns. I'm loving everything about Christmas. And I wore this to work the other day. Um, with a nice like Christmas themed pair of shoes as well and they just said to me you're really doing Christmas this year this was in October I'm like yeah Christmas <laughs> and uh, this one here is just a plain black vest that I got and I got it in uh, like three sizes bigger because these ones tend to really roll up but for like two pounds you really can't argue 
choose, this is the most exciting one. I've got a few Christmas parties to go to. I've got Mark's Christmas parties, Mark's mum's work is having a Christmas party as well. I'm having, a, I'm having my work is having a Christmas party and I just love shoes. Now, it's really difficult to find a comfortable pair of high heels, especially at Primark when they're a bit bargainous and your feet tend to hurt a little bit. Not blaspheming the Primani, I am just saying, I'm going with the ideology that they only need to last once <laughs> because Primark shoes tend to be a bit cheap and cheerful and don't tend to be very comfortable. If anyone has any tips on how to make party shoes and stilettos more comfortable then I will happily listen but I thought that I would show you my beautiful picks. Now with Christmas party shoes I tend to wear kind of plainish dress like a black nice lace kind of number is what I'm looking at this year so I thought that I would show off my sparkling Christmas appreciation by making my shoes as sparkly as possible. So these are the first ones that I bought a few weeks ago. Now as you can see that they have um, a very nice shimmer to them with all of the studs. Now I saw something similar being done by Zara about two seasons ago, um, almost exactly a year to the date. Those shoes were over 60 quid so I decided as soon as I saw these I had to have them almost immediately. Zara did a flat pair that I bought someone as a Christmas gift um, but they were the last pair in stock in size 6 which is my size so I got a little bit annoyed when I asked them if they had any more and they showed me a pair that had a few sequins missing and I just couldn't deal. First world problems guys, the struggle is real but these are absolutely gorgeous aren't they? I just, I love these so much. Moving swiftly on to perhaps a more comfortable side of Christmas sparkly shoes if you're not really into heels. Um, these were £6 and they're a golden glittery flat and um, they look slightly like loaf, like a loafer top um, but not really um, and they also have a gold metallic in the insert. So these look really really good. I plan to take these in my bag if I have a large clutch this year in case my feet get too tired um, or you know in general if I'm sick of dancing with heels then these are a good backup pair and also if you just don't generally like heels then these ones might be for you. Moving on from you know glittery glittery these are my ultimate find these are what I'm most excited about and this is the reason that I decided to do a haul because I'm absolutely so proud that I found these. These are limited edition by Atmosphere that I found in Oxford Street about two days ago and I had to have them almost immediately. They are silver glitter moving on to a gold glitter and then the heel itself is a metallic and I just, oh, oh, they've got the little limited edition right there and these were just so gorgeous that I, I just had to have them. I just couldn't imagine not having them in my life. And I can tell Mark's in the kitchen, thinking, he's just waved, thinking about my shoe lust and just silently judging me. <laughs> so yes, these are absolutely gorgeous. Both pairs of heels were £16, which I think is fairly reasonable. And these will look absolutely gorgeous. I tried to find a handbag in Oxford Street, like a large clutch that would go with these, um, but I couldn't really find one um, that I really, really liked. Um, they had some really nice metallic ones, but I didn't think that they went with the shimmers as well as I had hoped. So I am on the search for a Christmas party handbag. If anyone has any really, really good ones that they've seen in the current season, then feel free to link me to any hauls that you have done below and I will watch and subscribe. On the subject of subscribing, thank you for watching my video today. And if you like this, I post new videos every week, so feel free to subscribe. I, you can also like me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram where I post copious amounts of pictures of my dog maybe a few pictures of these shoes and they're gorgeous yes <laughs> thank you i'll see you later